This is the uh, midpoint of the second week, so it's Wednesday. The yard is being cleaned up nice. I mowed it the other day, picking up stuff gradually, bit by bit, throwing it away. Finish the fence around the outside. I'm going to keep that shed. I've torn down the one that's beyond that. I've torn down the one that was adjacent to this one. And uh, we've yet to decide if I can salvage, th salvage this or not. And if so, what purpose it would, it would be. Uh, first phase for the house was to make it safe. The second was then to get it square and get it level as best I could so it wouldn't fall down. Now I'm working on getting it weather tight and keeping the critters out. It is so incredibly hot. I am very happy with these great big mature trees that we have here. But the porch is straight. I haven't done the front corner yet. I need to get a cedar post from home. They're not permanent no matter what I make them from, but I just feel bad putting non-pressure treated wood in the, on the ground. Plywood is a little tough on your own, but it's going up. I got one and a half more pieces to do tomorrow and then get some Tyvek and uh, make sure it's bug proof wasp particularly the bottom we've made it uh, weather tight i don't like the big old original beam exposed to the weather uh, plus the ground was uh, leaning in toward the house that's why the kitchen addition rotted out um, so now this is pitched away from the house and i've got a bit of a drain um, the tin is just there temporarily to stop the rain from driving onto the bottom beam. And this goes all the way around. We're starting to form plans of where the new front of the house should go. And how to change the layout on the inside to make it more or modern. Can't leave that deck is a bad way. But I'm gonna make it secure, hold the roof up, the roof structure is in good shape, and then tear out uh, all of the lower structure and rebuild that. But support it for now is the short term goal. Inside of the house is cleaned out, uh, probably 25 loads to the dump. Still a bit more to do. Each room is 16 foot square. And there are four rooms downstairs. All of them have got hardwood and four rooms uh, and uh, two rooms upstairs. That's the bathroom, which is functionally quite useful just there, but it's on the deck and the deck is to be replaced and will be a wrap around the entire house. So these two doors will open up onto the deck. Uh, we'll have a, a kitchen probably in this room and then probably, probably bathroom in uh, a good portion of this room. And then one single downstairs bedroom and a living room. So we'll probably take this wall out and have the living room open put up into the kitchen. And then the upstairs is uh, plenty big enough for two bedrooms with a nice sized bathroom at the end of this hallway. The end walls of both bedrooms will be opened up into the eaves. So you've got built-in closets down that side from this room 
and then probably a sloped end to maybe a three foot knee wall to make the room seem much larger. Same with this, one wall will be closets and then uh, one will be open all the way to a three foot knee wall. And they'll feel like good, good sized rooms. This chimney is coming down. Start on the roof, of course, take it down, take it down through this room. One of the discoveries, of which there's been many, are some very good condition. Um, World War II, what looked like army uniforms. Uh, we've got quite a few winter jackets. And then we've got one summer uniform and three uh, winters. The guy was clearly a sergeant. I'm familiar with the 10th mount, the 10th mounted, and I'm also familiar with the 10th mountain. Uh, but 10th mountain was a uh, a ski um, outfit, and their dress, their uniforms were very different. This will be where the bathroom is. I've got to figure out how to give a little easier access through from the bedrooms. It'd be nice if I could have um, a door that opened into the bathroom from one of the bedrooms. But I've yet to see how to do that. I might move both doors and then move the bathroom wall out to sort of here-ish and then have a door into the bedroom from that side and this side, shared bedroom. But we've yet to decide. This is a very nice space. It's a bit of a shame to lose it as a bathroom because it's nice as a reading area. But all the wallpaper's off the floor, all the raccoon poop is off the ground. All the floors are, are in great shape. Um, so that is it for the inside for now. It's midday, 4th of July. Uh, we've got some big storms coming tomorrow and the next day. So wanted to get the house weather tight, which it now is. Um, so I think uh, next it'll be fixing the deck, doing more cleanup, probably one more day here. Uh, and then back to Jonesboro. And this place is not going anywhere, not for a while.